Picture this, a garden where fish and plants thrive together. Intrigued? This isn't science fiction, it's aquaponics, a clever combination of aquaculture and hydroponics. Imagine your favorite leafy greens growing lushly, nourished by the natural waste of vibrant fish swimming just below. Meanwhile, these same plants act as a natural filter, purifying the water for our finned friends. It's a beautiful, sustainable closed-loop system that harnesses nature's own methods. Welcome to the world of aquaponics. Aquaponics is a perfect blend of hydroponics and aquaculture. Now, if those words sound like Greek to you, don't worry. Let's break it down. Imagine you're growing plants not in soil but in water. That's hydroponics. Now, imagine you're raising fish in a controlled environment. That's aquaculture. Combine these two and you have aquaponics, a closed-loop system where fish and plants live in harmony. At the core of this harmony is the nitrogen cycle. The fish produce waste, and this waste is high in ammonia. While too much ammonia is toxic to the fish, it's a goldmine for a certain type of bacteria called nitrosomonas. These bacteria convert the ammonia into nitrites. But hold on, nitrites are still harmful to the fish. Enter stage right nitrobacter bacteria. These guys take the nitrites and convert them into nitrates. And here's where the magic happens. The plants, they love nitrates. They absorb these nitrates, using them as nutrients to grow. And the water? It's now cleaned of ammonia and nitrites, making it safe for the fish. The clean water is then recirculated back into the fish tank, and the cycle begins anew. So, in a nutshell, the fish feed the plants, the plants clean the water, and the water sustains the fish. It's a beautiful cycle, isn't it? But why would you choose aquaponics, you might ask? Well, there are countless benefits to this ingenious system. Firstly, it's a sustainable method of farming. With aquaponics, you're not just growing plants or raising fish separately. You're creating a self-sustaining ecosystem where fish and plants support each other. It's a cycle of life that's as fascinating as it is effective. Secondly, aquaponics is incredibly water efficient. Traditional farming methods can waste a lot of water through evaporation and runoff. In contrast, aquaponics recirculates the same water continuously. In fact, it uses up to 90% less water than conventional farming. Thirdly, it's a fantastic way to produce organic food right at home. The fish provide all the nutrients the plants need, so there's no need for artificial fertilizers, and since there's no soil, there are fewer pests, reducing the need for harmful pesticides. But the benefits don't stop there. Aquaponic systems can be built anywhere regardless of soil quality. They can be as small as a fish tank in your living room or as large as a commercial farm, and because the plants grow faster and denser in aquaponic systems, you can grow more food in less space. So whether you're a DIY enthusiast looking for your next project, or you're passionate about sustainable farming, aquaponics offers a unique and rewarding way to grow your own food. Aquaponics is a win-win for you and the environment. Ready to build your own aquaponic system? Let's dive right in. First things first, let's gather the materials. You'll need a fish tank and a grow bed. The fish tank will house your aquatic friends, while the grow bed is where your plants will flourish. You'll also need a water pump and a filtration system, critical components to keep the water clean and circulating. Now, let's assemble the tank and grow bed. Place your tank in a location that's convenient for you, ensuring it's on a sturdy surface. The grow bed should be positioned above the fish tank, allowing for gravity to return the water back to the tank after it has passed through the grow bed. Next up is the water pump and filtration system. The water pump is responsible for moving water from the fish tank to the grow bed, and the filtration system works to remove any solid waste from the water. Remember, the cleaner the water, the healthier your fish and plants will be. And now, the exciting part. It's time to add your fish and plants. When choosing your fish, consider the climate of your location. Hardy fish like tilapia or goldfish are popular choices due to their adaptability and resilience. For your plants, leafy greens and herbs are a fantastic starting point as they generally do well in aquaponic systems. Lettuce, spinach and basil are all great options. A quick tip here. Introduce your fish to the tank a few weeks before adding the plants. This allows time for the nitrogen cycle to start. So when you add your plants, they'll have nutrients ready to consume. And voila! You've built your first aquaponic system. But remember, building the system is just the first step. Maintaining the balance between the fish and plants is an ongoing process. Regularly check the water quality, feed your fish, and prune your plants to ensure they're growing healthily. In the end, the effort you put into maintaining your system will be well worth it. As you watch your fish swim happily in their tank and your plants grow lush and green, you'll experience firsthand the magic of a thriving aquaponic system.
You're now part of a global community of DIY aquaponics enthusiasts who are reaping the benefits of this sustainable symbiotic system. So the next time you're enjoying a homegrown salad or admiring your vibrant fish, remember, you made that possible. Congratulations on your new aquaponics system, and welcome to the world of sustainable living. Maintaining your system is crucial for a thriving aquaponics garden. Let's dive right into the basics. Firstly, feeding your fish. It's important to give them a balanced diet, which typically means high-quality aquaponic fish food. Feed them once or twice a day, but be careful not to overfeed as uneaten food can deteriorate the water quality. Speaking of water quality, regular checks are essential. Keep an eye on the pH level, aiming for a sweet spot between 6 and 7. Also, ensure the water temperature is comfortable for both fish and plants. Depending on your setup, this could range from 68 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Nitrate levels are another important aspect to monitor. Remember, the purpose of your plants is to absorb these nitrates, which are waste products from your fish. If nitrate levels are too high, it might be time to add more plants. Pruning your plants is also a key part of maintenance. This not only keeps your plants healthy but also ensures they don't block light for other plants or take up too much space. Prune regularly, but gently, to avoid causing stress to your plants. Finally, clean your system periodically. This includes the fish tank, grow beds, and pipes. Regular cleaning prevents the buildup of algae and other unwanted substances, ensuring a healthy environment for your fish and plants. With these tips, your aquaponic system will flourish. Don't take our word for it, hear from those who've reaped the benefits of aquaponics. First meet James, an urban gardener who turned his small rooftop into an aquaponic oasis. The yield is incredible, he shares, and my family loves the fresh herbs and veggies, plus the kids are thrilled with our new pet fish. Next up is Maria, a retired teacher who's found a new passion. I've always loved gardening, she says, and aquaponics has taken it to a whole new level. It's sustainable, it's fun, and it's educational. Then there's the Green Community Center that's feeding their neighborhood with a large-scale aquaponics system. We grow everything from tomatoes to tilapia, the director tells us, and it's all organic. It's a win-win for us and the environment. And let's not forget about Sam, a tech enthusiast who's automated his entire system. It's the perfect blend of nature and technology, he says. I monitor everything from water pH to plant growth on my phone. It's like having a high-tech garden. And finally meet Lisa, a homesteader who's been doing aquaponics for over a decade. It's the most efficient way to grow food, she insists. Plus, there's something incredibly satisfying about watching the fish and plants thrive together. These are just a few examples of the many people who've successfully integrated aquaponics into their lifestyles. They've discovered the joy of growing their own food, the excitement of raising fish, and the satisfaction of fostering a symbiotic relationship between the two. These success stories could be you. Imagine having a self-sustaining garden right in your home. This is the beauty of aquaponics, a perfect harmony between fish and plants, a symbiotic relationship that not only thrives but also provides. Picture this, vibrant lush plants growing above and beneath, a thriving community of fish, each benefiting the other in an ecological give and take. This isn't just an idea, it's a reality for many. From compact countertop systems to expansive backyard setups, there's an aquaponic solution for everyone. And the best part, you can create it yourself. With a bit of creativity, a touch of effort, and a dash of patience, you can build a sustainable ecosystem right in your own home. So why not give it a shot? Grow your favorite plants, raise some fish, and witness the magic of nature's cycle at home. Embrace this step towards a sustainable future. Start your aquaponics journey today. Like, share, and subscribe for more DIY eco-solutions.